What's up guys in the Panthers here and welcome to episode number 37 of my Ultimate FIFA series. We are using this squad that I used in the squad builder in the last episode to go into the Gold Cup. Like I said, three games in this episode for you guys and we are three games away from winning the Gold Cup because I, I played uh, the first round with the team from way, way back when before the... F before the St. Pat's tournament and before the other tournament where I had to have 11 different players from 11 different clubs and four different nations. So I've built this team. Uh, it's a pretty decent team. Um, as as you'll know, I've already played the games with it. So I really, really, really enjoyed this team. I'd just like to add a little disclaimer to the start of my video though. Sometimes, guys, I make mistakes. That's it. it make of that what you will. I make, I make errors probably at least once a video, but hey... Uh, it comes with the territory, you know, it's not easy doing what I do, although it does seem like it is pretty easy, but it's not. If you guys have ever given this a shot, or if you do make v YouTube videos yourself, you'll know just how difficult it is to um, to, to make a, a cohesive, perfect video without making one error. Um, so yeah, if, if you want to... If you want to hop on those mistakes, then feel free. But if you don't, then thank you very much. Um, as you can see with this first game, guys, we come up against a guy who's a subscriber. He messaged me at the start there saying, NEP? I didn't reply to him because I was actually eating some food whilst that intro was uh, loading up and didn't have time to pick up the control before the game kicked off. And into the game we go, and there's Varela, um, who I claimed was left-footed in my squad builder. He is indeed right-footed, guys. Um, and he has a four-star weak foot, which is awesome, which is probably why I felt like he was left-footed, because his weak foot is really, really good. So I scored a penalty with Varela. Uh, my man scores a goal with Cavani there to level the game up in the 49th minute. I thought it was a bit of a BS goal myself, because, you know, Cavani just walks in front of Evra there. Evra doesn't even try to get the ball. Um, Ever just kind of like dances behind Cavani and Cavani gets an easy header. It's quite annoying. The guy watched the replay and uh, I, f I thought that was also a bit annoying considering it was a subscriber, but uh, c'est la vie. So into into the 58th minute here, guys. Does that not make sense? Yeah. <laughs> um, into the 59th minute. I score a nice goal there with Moussa Dembele. A nice little fake shot on the top of the box and just step inside the defender and do that left-footed near post shot. And 2-1 was the final score. And at the end of the game, I skipped the. I, I try to skip the cut scenes, especially when I play against subscribers. I don't want you guys to waste any more time than you need to. And I thought, oh, this guy, you know, he's a subscriber. Maybe he's messaging me saying, good game, or, you know, it's, it was great to play you, or, you know, maybe are you the real Nepenthes? But no. What he says is, if the, if the message ever comes up, he basically said, we're, we're, we're just going to wait. There you go. BS game. So he said it's a bullshit game. It really wasn't. Uh, I mean, it, it was an even game. It could have gone either way. I'll show you the stats here. I think I had nine shots and eight on target, and he had ten shots and seven on target. Wow, he had ten shots and five on target. Um so, you know, the game was uh, relatively even, and I messaged him afterwards there, I didn't show that, but I messaged him just saying, lol, okay. Um, and then we move into the next round, so we're into the semi-finals of the Gold Cup now, guys, and we come up against Pats Boyos. He's got a full Argentinian team, fortunately, he doesn't have any of the good, or like any of the great Argentinian players, you know, he doesn't have Messi. Quite surprised he has Lamella, and I think that's Garay on the right, and I, I would have personally thought he would have put Palacio in there. I would have thought he would have had Cambiasso in there. Um, you know, there's there's a fair few players that I would have swapped out for them that aren't expensive that would make the team a hell of a lot better, in my opinion. And I also really don't like the 3-4-3 formation. I played with it a few times. I played with it with my um, my ultimate team, my dream team squad, and uh, I really didn't like it. But he did take the lead nonetheless. He went 1-0 up very early on in the game. And look at the pace from Lentz here. Lentz passes it through to Liedson. Liedson slots it home into the empty net because he brought his keeper out. And we get right back into the game into the 25th minute. Into the 36th minute now, Varela there with a nice roulette in the box, steps inside, really, really lucky to get that ball back off the defender, and then Liedson gets absolutely barged over in the box, to which the ref doesn't give a free kick, but then uh, my, I think that was Dembele got fouled in the box as well, and the ref finally gives a penalty, uh, not free kick, I meant penalty, and uh, Varela there slots the penalty home, two goals in two games for Varela, both from the penalty spot. Slots at home in the 38th minute to make it 2-1. And uh, at this point, I'm feeling very confident. Like I say, the 3-4-3 isn't a formation I really struggle against. It's, it's not a very good formation. A really tidy finish there from Lamella with the left foot. Just curls it around the keeper. No problem at all to put it back to 2-2. But I wasn't having any of it. A nice big win there. A nice big header. Ball goes through to Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum or Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum. Yeah, Wijnaldum. Yeah, we'll go with Wijnaldum. Uh, finesses it past the keeper. Somebody actually showed me in the comment section of the last video how to pronounce his name, and it's Wijnaldum. But it sounds so wrong because it's got a J in it. So I'm going to call him Wijnaldum, and I know it's wrong, but I don't care. Um, 
So, as you can see from the match stats, once again, a really, uh, really tightly contended game, um, which was very good that I came out on the, the top side of it, winning 3-2. So, we've gone through 2-1 and 3-2 in the tournament so far. And now we move into the final. We come up against a guy called Zadoganti FC, and he's got a pretty decent squad. Um, he's got, uh, you know, a Serie A team, Barzagli in defence. Either Nosserino or Marquisio in midfield. Not going to know which one it is. Never going to know which one it is. And uh, along with Vidal. Um, but it's a pretty good team. But look at that for a goal from Mykon. A full 40 yards out. Absolutely leathers it in a 26th minute. That, though, that angle for a shot is incredible for long shots. And fortunately enough, Mykon hits it sweet as a nut. And it dips over the keeper's head into the goal. Fantastic finish. One of my best goals in FIFA 13. I don't really score many crazy long shots like that. So awesome to have scored that. And Varela again scores his third goal in three games. Steps inside the defense. Cuts across the goalkeeper with the finish. And makes it 2-0 after 28 minutes. I thought at that point this is going to be game over. I thought I'd easily walk this game. But he scores a really nice goal with Milito there. Finesses it right into the top hand corner. The keeper's got no chance. But almost right after. So company with a the header there. Really lucky that the ball went in. But four goals in about seven minutes there. And... Uh, uh, puts me 3-1 up almost a f just a few minutes later again we're looking at like five goals in 10 minutes now Varela again doing some great work down the the left hand side cuts it across goal because he had no other options and Liedson is there to tap it home in the 37th minute to make it 4-1 still in the first half and just a few more minutes later I give away a stupid penalty should have just cleared it when I had the opportunity I tried to walk it out of defense he tackled me on the edge of the box I ended up fouling him in the box he gets a penalty and Melito scores it I did dive the right way if I use my penalty saving method I would have saved that for some reason I didn't use it I end up diving and the ball went over my legs and then uh, into the second half now 56 minute El Shirewi scores into the back of the net to make it 4-3 and I'm thinking oh god you know 3-1 three, 4-1 three, up am I going to throw this away but no boom a stunning finish from Musa Dembele in the 62nd minute to put us 5-3 up he does the robot to celebrate and then in the 85th minute Varela again some great work down the right hand side this guy is using contain, which makes it really, really easy to just run the wings like that. Step inside with the Ronaldo chop. Do the stop and turn with Varela. Step inside the defender with some nice skill dribbling and slots it home with his left foot in the 87th minute into the back of the net. I did celebrate this goal. Um, I tried to skip the replay. The replay didn't skip. I thought, why is my man here watching the replay? Turns out he wasn't watching the replay. He was sending me a message. And his message said to me congratulations so he knows now um, when the message appears on the screen It'll probably appear any second now um, he says congratulations there you go I don't know if that's a an actual congratulations or a very bitter like well done dickhead kind of congratulations but 6-3 was the final score guys so we went on to win the cup with this team let me know in the comment section if you want me to try playing in division one with this team for a few games or if you'd prefer i did another squad builder and played with another squad so we get a 2000 coin bonus we get another cup liedson getting man of the match but varela being the man of the team scoring four goals in the three games and as you can see from the match details when i show them there i completely dominated this game but this is the end of the video guys so if you did enjoy this be sure to leave a like rating comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as always thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time cheers